we decided to go for a look with a reference to some movies back in the 40s that were twisting and you know they were black and white so the lips or the eyes were looking very intense, very dark. The woman is soft and intense at the same time so that's why we are creating those very nude eyes. We are using a creamy nude eyeshadow. I'm putting a lipstick also who have a gold sparkle in it. And that catch the light and create a blurry finish. Marnie always has a lot of layers and a lot of textures, so it's a very playful and fun collection. And this season was actually one of the, my favorite Marnie collections ever. And some of the girls are sitting around me, they were like, I love this show. And they say things like, I want to wear that. And that's one of the things you want to hear when you're at a show that people want to wear the clothes, not just editorially, but that you want to put them on and live your life in them. It was an amazing show. I loved all the poofy sleeves. It made me rethink fitted sleeves. It made me want to walk around with like just really full, delicious sleeves. I think the shoes were a standout. You know, just amazing low heels with such beautiful embellishments. And then so much color and just like texture, sequins. And there were a few great bags as well, teeny tiny ones with great metal straps. So I think this was a really strong collection overall. Throughout Fashion Week when we see fall winter, color is usually not something that we see and being an editor and looking for things to make our magazine exciting and dynamic, color is the most important thing for all of our pages. So the Marnie show was something that we loved today and there was a lot of color and a lot of texture and a lot of fun and we really, really need it and in Milan there hasn't been a lot of color and so we were happy to see it. I loved Marnie. I loved the simplicity of the show today. I also liked that all of the attention to detail and the drama was in the sleeve, an idea we're seeing on many runways this season from New York through London and certainly here in Milan, that idea of a lantern sleeve, a puff sleeve, even a bishop sleeve. Everyone's putting a lot of volume into sleeves and I love that she did it in cotton shirting. So it's something that customers are going to be able to translate easily from the runway into their own personal wardrobe and super cool eyewear. They're getting ready to launch their sunglass collection. So I'm glad to see that they had a lot of those really cool cat eye sunglasses on the girls as well. I thought it was really, really beautiful. Some of the fabrics, like that royal, navy, burnt out velvet on white was really special. But mostly it was a show, I think, about silhouette, very interesting sleeve details, and the boots that have the sort of waders, and then sort of a slouchy pant. Marnie was breathtakingly beautiful, where you see artistic reverence and fashion flair coming together in this most magical way. I mean, there wasn't a single piece in there that wasn't perfection, in my opinion.
always patterned in print at Marnie, and I, I loved all those really bright, vivid, almost clear color, which we haven't been seeing a lot of here at Milan. It looks really good. And of course, her oversized paillettes that she does every season is very signature to her. The idea of them being either black on black or kind of a crazy aqua blue mixed back to pearls and lavender embroidery on a couple of winter white pieces at the very end. Even the shoes I thought had a lovely sculptural quality to them, kind of a carved wood heel that looked so cool. So a really great collection this morning in Milan. Consuela sort of lives in her own world and she creates these very evocative sort of moods and collections and it really just doesn't look like anything else except for Marnie and I think that that's like the strength and a really important skill for a designer to have.